Okay, guys. It's me. I'm back. Um, right now I'm going to be showing you, like, if you're going into a pawn shop or something like that, what you need to look for and know to where you can just walk straight in and be like, here's this, here's this, here's this, and just get it, like, straight and see what you want to kind of look for. Um, now, you can get stuff cheaper at pawn shops, a lot cheaper. A tackle box, maybe like that right there, full of baits. Maybe the, like, dollars worth of baits in there. I got it for $10 at a pawn shop for everything in there, including the tackle box, and including all the trailers, everything. Um, one thing you do have to worry about is if they're not fit, all right. Um, if the treble hooks are, like, rusted up, I, I really wouldn't get it, because after you pay for trebles, you might as well just get the new lure. Um, but yeah, uh, a lot of times you can, if you go to, like, pawn shops, like, around my house, there's pawn shops with lures, a lot of lures, um, yeah. Alright, so first thing. When you go in there, you gotta know what you want, what colors you want. If you're fishing dirty water, you want black and blue. If you if you're wanting a jig, do you need a swim jig? Do you need a flathead? Do you need a flipping jig? Or not a flathead? I, I mean a um football head. Um, okay. Or if you're fishing like stained water that isn't that bad, then you're gonna want like probably about. Probably like a brownish color. Watermelon candy. Green pumpkins. Something like that, okay? Right here. Um, as you can see. This one's got like a, um. This one's custom made. I know a lot of them have that. But it's custom made because. You can tell because it doesn't have a name or anything. It's custom painted. It's custom made. But yeah. And look at that. And that's just. Your average jig, a lot, they're better like with the lines like that. And just know, and then make sure you look for the rattle, see? Can you hear that? Okay. Um, and just know what you're looking for. And then, if you're gonna buy some jigs, you need some trailers. Unless you're gonna fish it without trailers. I, I've caught a fish without a trailer on a jig before. But, you just don't catch them as good. Um, PB&J is kind of good for both, but it's better for dirty water. If they got a PB&J jig, I mean, I'd just pick it up while I'm there. You know, if it's cheap. If it's cheap. They're charging a lot of money for it. I mean, hey. Don't get it. But, alright. Then, if chatterbaits. If you're fishing, like, really dirty water, you wouldn't want to get a white blade like this. You'd want to get... A, if you're fishing dirty water, you want a blade like this, not a white one. And then, if you're fishing, searchers will go in dirty water or stained water. Either one. It's just preferable for me. And just get a little trailer on there. And got this little white um, chatterbait by Z Man. And white. And it's got the normal blade. White really goes only in stay water. You can throw it in dirty water, but you, the less, the chances are less. Now these, I, to be honest, I can't talk about these really because I've never used them. This is really just I want to start. I want to know how to use every lure I can, and just while you're there, if you see a bizarre lure. I know this probably isn't bizarre to y'all, but I mean, like, I've never even thought about throwing one of these. My dad's got one of these. Just try to throw something like that. Try to challenge yourself. It'll make you better. And really, you just kind of want to look for the colors. They're the same thing as everything else. Um, yeah. If you're looking for, like, morning baits and you want to look for my confidence morning bait is a popper. Boom, custom painted popper. You can tell because there's no name down there, nothing. There's nothing on it. Um, it's got rattles in it. Um, ah, ah, a 
Okay. Yeah, hitting Honda it's like Mariah. I know. And then jerk bait. If you can find jerk bait cheap, then that's good. Especially if it's kinda like bent, like right here. Those are like really expensive because something they figured out about jerk baits, I'm not sure. Smooth, this is for a challenge. This thing's huge. This is just for a challenge. I want to try to work off of it. I didn't see that till just now. See? It makes a decent amount. Okay, it has no rattles. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. And then you always want to look, look for... Oh, rattle traps. Mm, you just... You just throw them out there. Alright, this is how. Ow! This is how you would work them. Throw them out there. You reel in real fast. Then let it drop down. Because as it drops down, it will like drop like that right there. So it'll look like a bait fish just looking for bait like that. Okay? And. Look. For stained water. If. Okay. Here's a tip. This is kind of off the. Off. Yeah. It's kind of off subject, but here's a tip. If you say you already caught one, say it has red lips, you're going to want to throw something like, like, um, you're going to throw something that looks like a crawfish, okay? But if they have, like, white lips all around, then you're going to throw something that looks like a shad, shad imitation. Um... Oh, there's another swear bill I got. Everything I got in this box, I literally got it one pawn shop. One. See? These lures you can get so much cheaper. And then look at all these trailers. Look at, look at, look at these trailers. Look at those trailers. Look at all of those. I got enough trailers for, like, if you subscribe, I'll enter you into a giveaway. And you can have all these trailers except like for like three. <laughs> Make it three. Um, yeah. Um and then if you see skirts, skirts are good. Skirts can come in handy. They don't take much space. And you just keep one jig with you and you just put different skirts on it. So just look for different colored skirts because if you find a skirt. I love finding skirts at pawn shop. Not like those kind of shirts, but these kind of skirts. Um, yeah. Also, if if you're throwing somewhere grassy, a lot of people think, oh, don't throw a chatterbait, you'll get it stuck in there. No, actually, throw a chatterbait right there on that grass line, on top of that grass. Just run the chatterbait right there and just reel it and just swim it. And. 9 out of 10, you'll, or about every 20 casts, you'll get probably a hit. Or at least that's the way it is for me. And I fish at Lake Murray, one of the hardest lakes to fish at. A blueback herring base lake. And that's why they like sexy shag color so much. Um, but yeah, um, I wish I could tell you about these spinner baits, but. I just found it, it was cheap, I was like, why not? I mean, just add to my tackle. Um, the tackle box it, itself was, like, pretty actually expensive. It was actually, like, $2. I know that sounds, like, not expensive. Y'all, you are probably own tackle boxes like those are, like, $9. Yeah, but for a pawn shop, that's pretty expensive. Um, but I had to have something to haul my lures in. And then... Yeah, and then trailers. Um. Okay, I'm gonna start giving y'all tips now. Okay, this is my top five fall fishing tips. Alright, starting in at number five. Um. Alright, for, for. Actually, it's not fall fishing, it's gonna be normal fishing. Um. For my first. One of my fishing tips is if there, if it's cold. Then you're gonna want to throw something like a drop shot, something slow, something finesse, a uh, shake head, um, even a jig you could throw, um, anything like that. If it is cold, but if it is hot, you want to throw like a chatterbait, a uh, crankbait, so something that you know goes by and you, they're just like, or a swim jig, a swim jig you could throw, um, 
a Texas rig, you get the, yeah, yeah. All right, tackle tip number four. Um, the stained water. If it's like decently clear water, then you're gonna want to throw more of a watermelon candy, or or green pumpkin. Okay, but if it's really chocolate milk like chocolate milk water then you're gonna want to throw something like june bug black blue flay you could try to mix it up there you could even throw pg and j either either or i mean okay chubby craw good good night but you're not really gonna want to fish a jig at night though or uh, why did i say at night in dirty water you're gonna want to, yeah but their jigs are good to throw in dirty water okay um Tip number five. Or tip number three. Um. Okay. This one's kind of a tip to how to get better at fishing, period. If you think. Say you think. This lure isn't going to catch fish. Throw this lure. Throw it till you can catch fish. Then think about it. You got another lure that you can actually catch fish with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um. That just improves you as a better fisherman. That's how you can make it to the college score. But if you're not that serious and fish with your confidence, wait. I mean, hey, that's what I'm gonna say. Like, that's what I'm gonna say. Or if you're in a tournament, you might want to fish with your confidence, bait. Every tournament, you know what I use? Either a shaky head or a text rig or a jig. I love jigs. But yeah, um. Tip number two. Um, okay. This is like an obvious one. Okay. If you're throwing a really light lure, this is one of the things that make me so mad. If you're throwing a light lure, throw a spinning reel. You really should, if you think about it. But if you're throwing a decently heavy lure, throw a bait caster. Like, come on, bro. Like, what, 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 what? Tackle tip number one is the most important tackle tip. Go fishing. Just go. Just go. It doesn't matter if you're going to catch fish. Just go and fish. And I'm, it doesn't matter if, you're, if people are going to make fun of you. You know what people make fun of me because every day after school, you know what I do? If I can, I go fishing. You know why? It's fun to me. If it's not fun to you, don't go fishing every day. I mean, I just love the sport. Um, and can you just, so, alright, that's going to be the end of the video. Can you just go hit that subscribe, like, post notification button, please, thank you. Like, yeah, bro, like. Alright, well, I'll catch y'all later. Bye-bye, alligator. Sorry, no, I ain't gonna give it up in that kind of outro. Um, well, how do I do my outro? I forgot. Oh, yeah. Peace out, girl.